DJing has been around since the Roman period. The Roman emperors needed a constant flow of music for 72 hour bunga bunga parties. Often, slaves were made to spin records on sticks until they collapsed and died. Then the next set of slaves would be mixed in to keep the music going. The first clangor was recorded by DJ Julius Caesar, where he said, The sweet wine of the ether had become putrid. We need more slaves. Years later, during the Dark Ages, called that due to their love of banging industrial techno, they would burn people in iron bowls so that they might omit a tune. This is where Red Bull Music Academy got its name. Sometimes a DJ would be in the middle mixing between the bowls using an Allen and Grief. During the enlightening, eunuchs were placed in front of huge steam pipes that would coordinate their tones. The DJ used a Pioneer DJM100 to mix between the two eunuchs for a more accurate crossfade. The DJ would play to packed out monasteries of people intoxicated on mead and the plague until the eunuchs collapsed and died. In the modern times, eunuchs are still used in the DJ industry, mostly to carry the DJ's vinyl and tied to rigging to handle and point hot lighting equipment. DJs pay them in rider beers, which they have to drink away from the people that are sexually active. Unique is a charity booking agency used to teach eunuchs how to DJ and give them a level playing field and a fresh start in life. Please sponsor a eunuch today.